This time, I am going to introduce and test a new device which is marketed very recently. And this device is Iva. And this is claimed to be a non-invasive meter. So what is a non-invasive device? There is no pricks, there is no blood, there is no pain. And it is going to measure the glucose levels in the blood. Apart from that, they are promising six vitals in 60 seconds. And in this video, I am going to test this device and compare this against a branded glucose meter for its reliability and accuracy. This is the IVA app, Anthea, and I agree that this is in the testing phase. So I'm going to test. It is a slightly cumbersome device, but sure, it is easy to carry around and you have to uh, charge it for uh, two hours. So I just switch it on. And when it is fully charged, you will see this blue lights over there. And now it is connecting to the mobile phone via the Bluetooth. I am going to obey all the instructions which has come along with the video. You have to be a silent. The room has to be silent. You shouldn't be moving around or talking. And I have to place my thumbs over the two sensors and hold the device as instructed in the video. And I need to wait for 60 seconds. And the time starts now. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm going to check the results. Remember the glucose meter value was 135. And here, the blood glucose level, which is measured by IVA, is 229. And uh, let me tell you, dear friends, I don't have diabetes. And it's giving all the instructions related to diabetes. And the hemoglobin A1C is locked. They probably require more glucose levels to calculate the average. Even in our wearable gadgets, including in most of the smartwatches, ECG is now available. It was originally introduced by Apple, the single lead ECG. And I expected an ECG, but instead of ECG, a number is appearing over there. So it was a false promise. And then you have the blood pressure, which I don't think is my blood pressure. And then the SPO2 levels are also not appearing now. The heart rate is there at the bottom. This was a live demonstration. And this is my verdict. You shouldn't be using this product. And you shouldn't be recommending this for patients with diabetes or with high blood pressure. We need to wait. There is a gross mismatch between the branded glucose meter and IVA. I am a doctor and a researcher in diabetes, very passionate with technologies. And I know non-invasive glucose meters are being tested globally. And one day, it's going to be a reality. But now we need to wait. I wish the team at IVA the best. Keep on innovating. And one day you are going to be certainly successful. Until then, my dear friends, there should be a disclaimer that patients shouldn't be using this device for making treatment related decisions. And that's very, very important to save the lives of human beings. Thank you. Thank you very much.